Hi, I'm James. Let's get into this. So we're talking about the difference between being a victim and being assaulted and then using self-defense to get out of the situation or being the victim and then turn the tides on the predator and then becoming the predator yourself, becoming the assailant. So the first thing we're going to do, there's a difference between defending yourself and then doing too much and becoming someone who's causing assault, right? So in this scenario, when you're in the street, let's say he's just walking along and I decide, you know, I want something that he's got. I want them shoes. I want whatever he's got, right? So I walk up, what's up, bro? And I hit him. He's going to catch me with a two-piece. Bah, bah. Now, calm down. Here he comes. Stomp, kick, kick, stomp, and now, here's the issue. What's wrong with this? If he would have just hit me and left, so let's do that. Boom, boom, I fall, you go that way, boom. He's done. He's out of the situation. He's defended himself, and if the cops show up and want to talk, that's fine. He's going to always win that because he defended himself. He did just enough to get out of the situation. But if he did what you saw earlier, where he's stomping and kicking and admiring his work, that is where he commits assault. He goes from, he goes from being the victim to being the assailant. And this is what you have to understand. Even if you have the adrenaline rush, you got a crowd around you, you got people, get him, get him, get him. You have people going, world star, pulling the phone out, filming everything. It doesn't matter. That even makes it easier for a police to know what happened. Because they'll just watch somebody else's phone and catch you. When you're in a self-defense situation, you do enough to escape. So if he hits me in the chin, anything. Oh, and I'm down. His option is to go that way. So he goes that way. There is no need for him to come over top of me and keep on going. Or if, if I'm down, if he kicks me in the if he kicks me in the groin, like, and I go down, now he could throw a punch or some knees, he could throw whatever he wants to throw, but all of this at this point is unnecessary. I'm already down. What he needs to do is leave. He's already got his space. But instead, he keeps going because he's trying to prove a point, he's trying to prove he's superior, the adrenaline is rushing, and he has no control. you got to have control of your emotions. When you catch somebody and they're down, at that point, you leave, you escape. The whole thing is self defense, not self-offense. So understand the situation. There are differences. And you could say, oh, well, he tried to rob me, police officer, sir, he tried to rob me, so I had to defend myself. True. I try to pick his pocket, he throws the right hook, bam, done. But when it becomes more than that, it's not self-defense anymore. He's already got the KO. There's no need for brain damage. Understand that. Have control of yourself. Keep yourself under control. Defend yourself. Leave the area. Doesn't matter who's screaming and yelling. Doesn't matter who's filming you. Doesn't matter how many hot people are around you. Leave the area. Call the police. Let them deal with it. That's what they're there for. All right? That's enough. Like and subscribe. Holla at your boy.